Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about sensor network scenarios. This topic is present in the subject ad hoc and wireless sensor networks. Network scenarios. In this topic, we are going to discuss about types of sources sensing, stationary versus mobile networks, single hop versus multi hop networks mobility and types of mobility and homogeneous versus heterogeneous networks these topics we are going to discuss under the main topic sensor network scenarios types of sources and distance a sensor network normally consists of a large number of sensor nodes and one or more sinks. In a sensor network, a source is any entity in the network that can provide information. That is typically a sensor node. It could also be an actuator node that provides feedback about an operation. Whereas a sink in a sensor network is the entity where information is required types of sources and sinks representation here is a representation of sources and sinks the sensor nodes present in this sensor network represents a source node the sensor nodes provides the information that has to be reached to the user and the sensor nodes passes the information to the sync node. The sync node processes the information that is being gathered from the source node. And the sync node then processes the received information to the user through the internet. Here is another representation of sources and the sinks in wireless sensor network. Sensor nodes monitor physical phenomena and produce sensory data. A sink does not generate any data by itself but collects data from the sensor nodes. A sink can be regarded as a gateway between the sensor network and other networks or an interface between a sensor network and the people operating the sensor network. A sink is often a resource abundant without energy supply limit and with advanced computation capability. Aside from data collection, a sink is also a central controller which can execute network management algorithms and instruct sensor nodes only the computation results. Sensor networks may work in different architectural and operational scenarios depending on the sensor nodes and the sync's capabilities and on the communication paradigm used by the sensor nodes and the sinks. Here is a representation of a sensor node. For example, some sensor nodes may have more advanced sensor unit, microcontroller or radio transceivers which enable them to take more responsibilities in the whole sensor network. Sensor nodes or sinks may also be equipped with locomotives which enable them to move around the sensor field for better performing tasks. Stationary versus mobile networks representation is shown below. In this representation, we are having stationary network as well as the mobile network. The stationary network means the node or stationary, the information from the source to the sink is being passed between the sensor nodes. The sensor nodes are moving in the mobile network only. The sensor nodes will be stationary, that is, the sensor nodes are not moving in the stationary network. 
if you see the mobile network means the mobile networks are moving from one location to another location and the information is being passed from source to the destination while the sensor nodes are in the moving condition also single hop networks in a single hop sensor network all sensor nodes transmit directly to the sink here is a representation of a single hop network in a single hop sensor network all stationary sensor nodes transmit directly via either wired or wireless communications to the sink outside the sensor field such a direct communication paradigm might be very expensive especially for a large scale network if wired communication is used the cost of wires might be much larger than that of sensor nodes multi hop networks in a multi hop sensor network instead of transmitting to the sink directly some sensor nodes use a multi hop path consisting of other nodes as relays to deliver their data to the sink here is a representation of a multi hop network many routing algorithms such as the digistra shortest path algorithm can be used to find an appropriate multi hop path for each node homogeneous networks in a homogeneous sensor network all sensor nodes have the same sensing processing communication and other capabilities excluding the initial power supply here is a representation of single hop homogeneous stationary network here is an another representation of multi hop homogeneous stationary network heterogeneous networks in a heterogeneous sensor network sensor nodes have different capabilities for example a node may have a stronger sensor unit and they can cover a larger area here is a representation of single hop heterogeneous stationary network and another representation of multi hop heterogeneous stationary network mobility in the sensor network scenarios are discussed above all participants were stationary but one of the main virtues of wireless communication is its ability to support mobile participants types of mobility in wireless sensor networks mobility can appear in three main forms namely node mobility sink mobility and event mobility mobility representation is shown below here we are seeing one layer mobility in this same network itself mobility happens between the source to the sink we have superimposed network and that is in this network we are seeing two layer mobility the information can be passed from one layer to another layer the another superimposed network is three layer network we are seeing here here in this the mobility takes place between all the three layers node mobility the wireless sensor nodes themselves can be mobile the meaning of such mobility is highly application dependent in examples like environmental control node mobility should not happen in livestock surveillance that is sensor nodes attached to cattle for example it is the common rule in the face of node mobility the network has to recognize itself frequently enough to be able to function current correctly it is clear that there are trade offs between the frequency and the speed of node movement on the one hand and the energy required to maintain a desired level of functionality in the network on the other hand node mobility representation is shown here in this diagram the event occurs at node a from the node a 
the information is being gathered and it is passed to the user through the sink. How that happens means the gathered information is passed to the hotspot node H. From that, it is reached to the sink. That is here, the base station is acting as a sink. From the base station, it is passed to the internet and from the internet, the information reaches the user. So, in this way, the node mobility happens. Sync mobility. Sync mobility. The information syncs can be mobile. While this can be a special case of node mobility. The important aspect is the mobility of an information sync that is not part of a sensor network. For example, a human user requested information via a PDA while walking in an intelligent building. In the simple case, such a request can interact with the wireless sensor network at one point and complete its interactions before moving on. Sync mobility representation is shown below. Here is a representation. A request is being arised and it reaches the destination. The movement direction is indicated here. In this, the provocation of answers is also indicated here. Here is another representation for the sync mobility. Event mobility. In applications like event detection and in particular in tracking applications, the cause of the events or the objects to be tracked can be mobile. In such scenarios, it is usually important that the observed event is covered by a sufficient number of sensors at all time. Hence, sensors will wake up around the object engaged in high activity to observe the present object and then go back to sleep. As the event source moves through the network, it is accompanied by an area of activity within the network. This has been called the Frisbee model introduced in reference, which also describes algorithms for handling the wake-up wavefront. Event mobility representation is shown below. In this representation, the elephant is considered to be an object. The movement of the elephant is being tracked by the wireless sensor network and the path that is being taken by the elephant is being tracked with the help of wireless sensor network. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. For further updates, kindly subscribe this channel. If you like this video means you can share this video to your friends.